What's going on, YouTube? We're back at it again, baby. We're pulling the boat out today. We're going to do some jugging in the river for catfish and car. Enough talk. Let's fill some freezes. Dragging in the river. This bad boy is huge. 12 pounds. Soft shell. He's kind of big for me to keep, so we're gonna go ahead and let him go. We just let him go. I try to get a picture of him, but he got me with his back leg, the claw, kind of scratched me in my hand, and he jumped off the boat. So he lived to see another day. That's it. There we go. Let's see him. Big boy, big boy. That's what we got here, baby. Got us a nice little common cork on the jug line. I think I had corn on this one. He a big one. We're going to get him weighed in right now. Sitting in here overnight on ice. Bring him up over here. Alright, so that's what we got here. Got a court. Let's give him a nice little rinse. Scaled up, rinse them down. First fillet there, we'll get him trimmed up. Some people take the skin off, some people leave it on. 
we gonna leave ours on. All right, one side down, we'll get this other side back up. All right, so this is what you left with, your two fillets. Even though they're filleted out, they are still bones, little tiny bones still inside the meat. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this sit in the fridge and some ice cold salt water overnight. And we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna put it in a nice little marinade, maybe some soy sauce with some seasoning. And then we're gonna cook it up. All right, we got the fillets all inside. The only thing I did, throw it in the big bowl with some ice. I'm just gonna put some salt and some garlic salt up in there and cover it with water. We want it to sit overnight. There's the end result. Salt, ice, and water. Let it sit overnight. Alright, here's our fillets here. They've been sitting in that salt water for about a day and a half now. And this is what we're left with. Right here. Alright guys, I apologize. I guess I had some difficulty with my GoPro. I thought I was recording, but it gave an SD card error and I didn't record at all. Um, so the only thing that you missed was I pulled the carp out of the salt water. Put it straight over here on the slab. I went to cut it into the little strips, the little fries. I noticed that the skin was still a little bit tough. So I just filleted the meat off of the skin, slapped it on here, and I cut it into these little strips. Okay, so at this point, you can even marinate it here, you know, with your soy sauce, your cummins, and your seasonings. Or you can just season it, batter it up, and fry it. That's exactly what I'm going to do at this point. All right, this is where we're at with it. If you know me, you know I like my seasonings, all right? You know I'm a little heavy handed as well, so you don't have to put as much seasoning as I do, all right? Nothing's measured, you just gotta get the feel for it, you know what I'm saying? So, my number one ingredient here is, is the Tony Saturese Original Creole Seasoning. Got a little bit of Larry's in here, seasoning salt, salt, pepper, onion powder, all right? The key ingredient right here is the Louisiana Fish Fry products, right? This is seasoned crispy chicken fry right I know this is fish I know it's chicken fry but believe me it's good okay they also make the fish fry right here in this little blue package right here it's also got the unseasoned and the red pack for the fish fry I normally run fish fry I ran out that's all I got is chicken I've used chicken on fish before and it's just as good if not better right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this started all right so we got our chicken or fish fry right here i'm just gonna throw in our seasonings all right some tonys toss in some larry's so pepper a little bit on your pot now take your hand get that mixed up as best as you can ready to go. All right, let's get these suckers battered up. Get a nice, nice little coat of batter. to the side. Here's our cart, all battered up, ready to be fried. So this is what we're gonna be using to fry up our cart today. This is a little standard deep fryer I picked up from Walmart. We're gonna be frying this on 375. Let's go. First batch is out. This is what we're looking like. 
Don't look too bad at all. Let's get the second batch in and we're done. YouTube so this is the finished product this is the corp fries I gotta admit it smells pretty good we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste test there you go gotta watch out for the bones I gotta admit, that tastes pretty damn decent. Especially with that chicken fry on it. Man, that's pretty good. Probably not as good as catfish. I eat a lot of catfish, that's what I like. I would say that this tastes better than tilapia. Let me tell you, this is pretty good. But there you have it. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next time you catch a carp, try it out. Clean it up, cook it up, see how you like it. All right? I'll see y'all on the next one. Film freezes, baby.